Hey, it's Carrie Flatla here for the Saturday night edition of Friday Fire. I have literally been working 12, 14 hour days over the weekend here. So this was my first chance to do Friday Fire on a Saturday night. Anyway, I'm ordering some food and going to have some beer and ice cream tonight. <laughs> been working out in the heat all day uh, for the last couple afternoons. So. I still wanted to do Friday Fire because I have something on my mind with this hot market. And I think it's teaching a lot of people some long needed lessons about real estate. So when you are buying a house, especially in a hot market, but I would say in general, because you wanna create goodwill when you make an offer. And in softer markets like Lethbridge, where we've had years and years and years of a fairly stable but stagnant market, houses aren't flying off the shelves, prices are stable, competing offers are much less common than they are, say, right now in this hotter market. We're not Toronto and Vancouver. Um, pick your battles as a home buyer. And I think there is a tendency for buyers and it's very natural tendency when they're making a big scary decision to buy a home it is for most people the very biggest purchase and financial decision that you will ever make in a lifetime it's natural to feel scared and a loss of control and one thing that we try to do as human beings when we feel that way is we look for things to get control of we look for things to hold on to and unfortunately we start holding on to things that don't matter in the big picture when buying a house. So my advice to you when you're buying a home, be smart, be strategic, pull the comparables. Of course, you don't want to overpay for the home, but be smart about how you go about the offer and negotiation and think about what hill you're willing to die on. What hills do you want to die on? Because here's some hills I see people dying on and it's not worth not getting the house over or taking off the seller who's going to be not in a very good mood later when maybe something comes up on inspection and you'd like to negotiate that with the seller. You want to keep everybody feeling good about working together on this purchase. So when you make an offer and you ask for professional cleaning to be done in the house before closing day, do you think that that might insult the homeowner because here's the thing the way the house shows when you look at it is probably the best you're going to get that homeowner felt that that is the way they want to show their home if you're at if you start nitpicking over things they might not be very agreeable later on i've seen exceptions to this but if you ask for stuff like that in a hot market there might be some pushback um, I don't like where that movable little plastic shed is in the yard. It doesn't comply. It's too close to the property line. Well, how about you just accept that the shed is like that and acknowledge that in the offer and move the shed yourself after you buy the home. I would like to write into the offer that I want to make sure the grass is cut and watered and basically perfect before I move in. Again, the property has to be in substantially similar condition as to when you made the offer and got it accepted. That is in the fine print in the offer to purchase. That protects you. The seller is obligated to keep the home in that condition. But when you start making those demands right in the offer, you're sort of saying, I don't really like the way you keep your yard and I don't trust you to keep it nice until closing day. On inspection, the purpose of a home inspection is not to beat up the seller with $100 repairs on a 40-year-old house that's not going to be perfect. Even a brand new builder home is not perfect and an inspector will probably find something. The point of a home inspection condition is to protect you from buying something that would have very serious problems or great expense to fix those problems that you couldn't know on your own as a home buyer. 
But the point of a home inspection is not to look for $100 repairs or get a bathroom renovation thrown in for free. You gotta take into context the age and condition of the home when you look at it. And if there's things that are obviously in disrepair when you look at it, then why would the seller want to fix that for you upon inspection? The inspection is to protect you and to inform you. I'm just gonna leave it at that when it comes to inspection. Another hill that some people die on, old furniture isn't worth anything. So if you're mad because the seller is taking their favorite bar stools with them onto their next home, might not be worth fighting over. So do you see how there's perspective? A $10,000 roof that nobody knew, had no life left on it and is letting water into the attic, that's an issue. That's an important thing that you might wanna consider before going final on that purchase. So keep it in perspective, especially in a hot market now, you could be competing and always remember, even after you submit an offer, another buyer could come to the table anytime. Your realtor will be able to provide you guidance, but those are the hills you might not wanna die on when you're buying a home in this hot market and really in any market when you're trying to negotiate with a seller and get the important things that matter to you, like a fair price, fair terms and conditions, the possession date that you want, that kind of thing. If you have any questions at all about how to be strategic with your offer making on a home, when you go looking, give us a call or send me a text. I'd be happy to help you find a home, 382-7335. In the meantime, have an awesome rest of your weekend. And for goodness sakes, sakes, stay cool, stay hydrated. It's super hot out there still. We'll see you for next Friday Fire. Take care.